What is going on guys, Apple Advanced here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to actually download RetroArch, which is a multi-emulator application that has tons of emulators on it. Now some of these emulators include NDS, GBA, PSP, SNES, and NES, and much more. This application is simply amazing just because of the amount of emulators that are on it. So guys, before we actually begin with today's tutorial, can you guys make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. Guys, if you have subscribed, go and right now also if you're part of the notification squad don't forget to let me know in the comment section below but anyways guys we're referring to this has been apple advanced and let's be going to a tutorial so just turn to the link in the description below and you should be going to the side right here now all you want to do from here is just press get the app and you should be redirected to your settings application and that's the type you'll see install so just go ahead and tap that put a password belongs to your phone press install press install one time and then click done now once you back to your home screen you should see this app right here installed Tweetbox. Now go ahead and open up Tweetbox. Now go ahead and let Tweetbox load up. And actually, sometimes when you actually um, let Tweetbox load up, sometimes you're actually introduced with an ad. And if you are, just press the X at the top of the ad, and you should be brought to the home screen of Tweetbox. So there's three categories: home apps and info. You click on the one in the middle that says apps. Scroll down to find Tweetbox apps. And once you actually click Tweetbox apps, go ahead and search up Retro Arc, or you can just find it through this list right here. So here you go, Retro Arc. Go and press install app, and then you'll get a prompt on your phone and ask you, Would you like to install RetroArch? So just press install and let it load up. Now, once it actually loads up all the way and you click on it, it's going to say untrusted enterprise developer. So all you want to do is just tap it and it's going to say that. So to actually get rid of this prompt, all you want to do is find settings, and from settings, you want to find general, and from general, you want to find profiles of device management. Now, once you find profiles of device management, you're going to scroll all the way down to find the enterprise app that belongs to RetroArch, which should be this one right here. Press try. Press trust more time, and there you go. You have access to RetroArch, which is a multi emulator running on your iOS 9 and on your iOS 10 device without the need of a jailbreak or PC. Remember, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up down below. If you can subscribe right now, it's been Apple Advanced, and see you.